um, scored touchdown in back to back weeks. Uh, any chance they're going to put you in the corner? Uh, regardless of they do or not, I don't really care. As long as my team keep winning, I can care less about watching this on here. What was the interception of that? We ain't have an opportunity to get it. They defense is playing, you know what I'm saying? Defense is playing. They play they play hard. So I mean there's not a lot of opportunities out there and when they need to step up they did. So. Can you walk us can you walk us through that touchdown? Oh uh, apparently I stole it from uh B Rice, but I, I don't believe that. But uh yo, I did not take it from you, stop Anyway, uh nah, balls hype. A uh, linebacker did a good job. Uh, he got his hands on me, and I looked up and kind of threw the ball. I went and got it like I do at practice. It was, it was routine stuff we do at practice all day. It wasn't that spectacular. It was just me making a play for my team. Uh, I feel like he he don't care about the noise, but he heard people talking about him last game. How he was like fluke or whatever. And and to be honest with you, can't nobody mess with one three for real. Like that's my quarterback, and I'm gonna defend him regardless of what he do. And I feel like with him at the helm, we can we can win the whole thing. Was this different this week? Was he just kind of locked in? No, he was the same. It was the same it was last week. It was just, he was, it was just the ball was getting completed. It's not, he don't change. That's one thing about a good captain. He don't, he don't change his mood. It's, it was, it's calm, 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 calm. Even, even when he threw the pick, he was, all right, let's go next play. Man. When he, him, looking at him and seeing him not react like oh, going crazy, he's like, okay, we cool. So we just feed off his energy. You guys have been really good in the third quarter. It's like, what goes into that halftime talk? I don't know. I think Coach Riley likes Steve Kerr. Because you know the Warriors go crazy in the third quarter. So I feel like he just, it's nothing, it's nothing new. He just came in and said, hey, we're not playing like the Trojans. Simple. We take the talent, he talents all the time. And we accept the talents and we do what we're supposed to do. No Lake McCree tonight. How do you feel like Josh Fowler stepped up with those reps? Man, old man follow man. That's, that's my boy, man. He stepped up. He played. He played his ass off. I can't even lie to you. He, shit, I ain't seen no bunch really. He played his ass off. 83, 83, follow, Josh Follow played his ass off. Man. He blocked hard everything he did. Like It was the intensity. I just, when I went in after him, it was like, I just had to match his energy. It was, we was feeding off each other. And so, the tight end room, especially when we get Lake and the Jewel back, we're going to be rolling just like we always are. The way the tight end and the O line finished that Oregon State game, the way you guys pretty much pushed in that last touchdown. Um, how much do the running backs owe you guys as far as like dinners or whatever? They don't owe us nothing because at the same time, they, we owe them because in protection, we'll, like, it'll be an extra guy if we want a running back. It's quarterback sack. So we all work together. We all a big ass unit. It's just, they, they just the little guys behind us. It's all there is to it. We all work together. We all love each other. It's not a, he, he, he owe me, I owe him. It's as long as we win, we good. Like we, even when we lose, we we good. We bring each other along and just it's a family. It's, that's all it is to it. What was better for you guys? Uh, like dominating the run game, or up Regardless of what we do, like one like we talk about all the time, like one game it could be Travis and uh, Austin for a hundred each, or it could be Caleb throwing five hundred. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a you can't just key on one thing with us. Because anybody can snap in and get a moment. So it's like, I mean, we still got guys on the bench people don't even know about. So it's just, it's just when we really get the roll of the Viagra, it's going to be a sight to see. You guys are 5-0 now. What, is, what does that mean for you guys? Absolutely nothing. Not a thing. It's just we won. Okay. We worked hard all week for that. The game's supposed to be. So it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's hard to win a college football, but we already won. So on to the next one. We worry about the next one. Did you feel a different energy from your defense on the sideline in the second half? No, it wasn't even them. It was it was everybody else on our side. Like, we didn't we, we didn't do a, a good enough job of hyping them up while they was on, on the field. That's what we didn't do. And in the second half, we did that, and that's where that's where all the energy came from. The defense was gonna play with energy regardless of what happened. It's just the sideline. We got to make sure that we do the we keep the same energy second half uh, during the first half. You were wearing the Flower Street Barbers. What's your relationship like with 42? Man, that's my, I would call him, but that's my dog, man. Like, 42, like, whenever time I cut him, he'll, he'll cut me even, they close at seven, he close at, he cut me at nine. I just pay him a little extra because he cut, he cut me at nine. Like, that's my guy, man. 42, he cut everybody, he cut, cut Coach Riley here, bro. It's 42 yeah. is 42, man. So, I love 42 to death, and that's going to be my bubble while I'm in LA till I, till I leave easily. Is it just cool just seeing him like getting on the field? Man, every time I see 42, that shit, it's, 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 it's cool, man. That's, seeing your ball, but like be on the field is, is just real cool. Because I like I got a connection with him outside of football and, and outside of haircuts. It's just me, like we just cool. So I like that. Have you been going to him like since you came to USC? Yeah, I, I went in, I came in, like, hey, who would be the best cuts? Everybody, 42. 42. <laughs> since then, I've been cool. See, Caleb mentioned that someone squirted him in the face with a water bottle. No, what y'all don't be seeing is Caleb, bro. Caleb tired us. Caleb be slapping inside the helmet. He be tired us, bro. I don't care. I'm glad he got somebody got him for that.
So he deserved it? Absolutely. It's not. He, he deserves more than that. But yeah. <laughs> was it before or after he did the interception? I couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't know. Uh, because he, he looked happy regardless. I'm like, all right, cool. Thanks, Marshall. Oh.